April 4th runoff election just weeks away. The mayoral contest continues to heat up. Several rallies were held today with appearances from both candidates. WGN's Courtney Spinelli joins us now in the newsroom with the latest details on the race for mayor. Courtney. Yeah, good evening. Two events were held today, including a public hearing organized by the Bring Chicago Home Coalition fighting to end homelessness and another organized by a group of community leaders who showed their support for one of the candidates. At a church in Logan Square, the Bring Chicago Home Coalition came together with community members. Also in attendance, mayoral candidate Brandon Johnson. Let's get to work and let's get it done. Both mayoral and aldermanic candidates were invited to the event. The Bring Chicago Home Coalition wants to create yearly dedicated revenue to provide affordable housing and services to people facing homelessness. It would do so by increasing real estate transfer tax on properties sold for more than $1 million. It's the place that we call home. And for too many people, for 65,611 Chicagoans, they do not have that sacred place. The group also calling on elected leaders to tackle the issue head on. One of the key points of Johnson's campaign so far has been affordable housing. We are going to bring Chicago home and make sure that there's affordable housing, public housing, a pathway to home ownership, and we're going to do it together. As this event wrapped, another got underway in Inglewood as a rally organized by black and Hispanic community leaders was held at the Midwest Coalition for Stop the Violence. It included grassroots organizers and was put on in support of mayoral candidate Paul Vallis. It's only going to happen if we get Paul in office. Yeah. And we at a mayoral forum earlier this week, Vallis and Johnson disputed over the subject of race, with Johnson throwing accusations at Vallis, one of the rally participants calling these, quote, horrendous allegations and saying their event is in response to that. That's a man that I'm going to vote for. And that's a man that I'm going to support. Because the liberals the Organizers saying they believe Vallis, who is running with public safety in mind, has the strongest plan for helping neighborhoods impacted by poverty and violence and improving police and community relations. Vallis telling the crowd Sunday he believes many of the city's problems are a product of bad leadership and that it didn't begin with the sitting mayor. Public safety will be guaranteed in every community. Public safety is a human right. Now, both mayoral and aldermanic candidates were invited to the event. The Bring Home Chicago Coalition wanted to create yearly dedicated revenue to provide affordable housing services to people facing homelessness and would do so by increasing real estate transfer tax on property sold for more than $1 million. Alderman Carlos Ramirez Rosa of 35th Ward of the group says the proposal would create that yearly dedicated revenue. And today we also saw that Alderman Ray Lopez endorsed Paul Vallis tonight at his event. Reporting live in the newsroom, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.